Hello, this is the American Contractor. Today is uh, Tuesday, the 21st of February, 2012. Just want to go into uh, Iraq and the Central Bank of Iraq and the, the ministries. What's happening is that the Central Bank, of, Central Bank of Iraq is requesting the ministries to give them the expense accounts, you know, with their balances and their different ministries. If you didn't know that they have a um, exp expense account, for each ministry, anywhere from uh, one and a half million dollars all the way up to, I believe, four or five million dollars, you know, per ministry, depending on which ministry you are, is how much money you get. And this money is allowed to them to uh, start a project on their own uh, for their constituents in their in the, in the different provinces without any kind of government oversight. As far as the Iraqi Parliament saying yes, you can spend that money, and no, you can't. So what's happening over the years? Uh, they've been taking this money and not uh, report it back to the CBI saying, hey, at the end of the year, this is where I have money left over, and um, you know, this is what I spent it on. So, and that goes against the uh, you know, federal budget also. So, Central Bank of Iraq is kind of uh, upset right now with all the ministries because they're not, uh, they're not cooperating, and they have not been cooperating for the last uh, few years. They're also concerned, Central Bank of Iraq is also concerned about the loss of foreign currency reserves and um, it's worried about the internal groups, foreign governments that are exchanging the Iraqi dinar for the U.S. dollars. And, and uh, the measures to uh, you know, maintain the value of the Iraqi dinar comes into play because people are taking notice that the Iraqi dinar is weakening against the U.S. dollar because there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, uh, people wanting the U.S. dollar and trading in their Iraqi dinar. And what's happening is that once they take in the Iraqi dinar, there's a lot of uh, there's some of the Iraqi dinar that's been counterfeited, and it's been reported in the Dalla province, Karbala, and Baghdad. The uh, 5K notes and the 10K notes have been um, counterfeited. So imagine a bank takes in this dinar, exchanges it for U.S. dollars. That U.S. dollar is gone. They went out to you know back to Syria, uh, Iran. Or you know some other you know group inside of Iraq, then all of a sudden you take your uh, Iraqi dinar and you look at it and say, look, you know it's, it's counterfeit, so you just lost out on that money. So the CBI is very concerned about this, and uh, they are concerned, you know, naturally, is because it's like I said, it's going back to their bottom line of their foreign currency reserves. Um, so it is a big deal. It's not some one merchant that's uh, you know crying foul that hey got some Iraqi dinar that that that's counterfeited. It's a, it's an ongoing problem, and uh, they will not have a uh, you know press conference. Actually, not a press conference. A meeting on Monday uh, about this about this situation, which is the 20th of February. They have this meeting, and they want to do some measures, take some precautionary measures to try to prevent this from happening. Uh, not the actual actual Iraqi dinar counterfeit, but the actual uh, exchanging for the Iraqi dinar to the U.S. dollar, and one of them was the requiring the banks, uh, Iraqi bank or the state bank, private bank or the state bank, to identify who the customer is. And um, that's why you've seen the uh, auction, uh, the U.S. dollar auctions of the CBI drop because people were freaking out because they had to give up the customer's name of who actually is requesting this U.S. dollar, who is trading in their Iraqi dinar for the U.S. dollar. So that's why you see the, the drops in the auctions as fast, at least last uh, few days, last week, and that's what happened. Now the banks are coming around and giving up the, uh, the identity of the customer. And uh, whether it's legit or not, you know, nobody knows right now. It's, it's all uh, being developed, and uh, I'm sure they're going to tweak it one way or the other. But uh, that is off the American contractor. I uh, appreciate all the emails and the comments. And uh, like I said a few days ago, the Arab summit's not all, uh, it's not all uh, maybe going to happen. We don't know yet. It's still up in the air. But there's a lot of GCC countries that are really, they're really against it. And um, because of uh, the, 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 the internal strife of their own countries is why I'm saying that. Uh, they don't want to leave while their countries, uh, you know, in turmoil or conflicts. But uh, keep the emails coming. I appreciate it, and uh, and appreciate your comments on the blog too. Uh
I like like reading the, the comments on the blog and um, try to respond to you know when I can. And uh, thank you very much. And until uh, next time.